Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of everything. Get ready for some cleaning motivation, a fun fall baking recipe, and also some packing motivation. I filmed this video a couple days before we left for a little weekend family trip, and I just hope it encourages you guys to get some stuff done today. So we're starting here in Grant's nursery and I'm changing his bedding and everything and we're going to get his laundry done so he has enough clothes to pack for the trip. I am treating some stains on Grant's clothes with just some shout and I use the Mrs. Myers uh, baby blossom detergent for his clothes currently but once I'm all out of that I'm going to switch over to some free and clear detergent. So for almost all of our clothes but also the baby clothes I dry them for 20 minutes on low and then take out all of the tops and bottoms and then I'll put sheets, burp cloths, everything else back in there to dry completely again on low for 30 minutes. would like to see a laundry routine video let me know in the comments below I've been thinking about filming that for you guys and so just let me know if that would be something you'd be interested in seeing and here's the completed laundry I like to hang it up in our guest bathroom which is right next to Grant's room to completely dry and then I'll put it away in the next day usually wanted to do before our trip was to empty all of the trash cans around the house. Um, this was filmed on a Wednesday and our trash pickup is on Thursday so I just wanted to get all of that gathered and taken out so we didn't have any smelly trash cans. Another thing I like to do a couple days before the trip or even you know a week in advance is to make a packing list especially packing for a baby. Um, there's just so many things he has to have um, his pack and play, uh, we have a travel high chair, diapers, wipes, snacks, food, the, you know, there's just so much that he has to have and so I like to make a list so I don't forget anything. Okay, now we're on to Thursday and our trip we were going to be leaving Friday afternoon so this is the day before I am gathering some items out of Grant's room that we need to take uh, the pack and play the high chair um, some of his clothes I had already picked out and I'm gonna go ahead and fold those up and get them in a packing cube and ready to go Here's just a shot. I like to lay things out in advance, so shoes, and we even took some books for him because he's obsessed with reading books, um, shoes, toiletries, things like that. And so now we're going to 
fold up his little outfits and put them in this packing cube. A tip I saw, I believe on Brianna Kay's channel maybe a year or two ago, is when you're folding kids clothes, if you can, um, put the shirt and pants together and then roll them up so you have a completed outfit. You don't have to hunt for the matching pieces. They're just already ready. Okay, here we are in the kitchen again laying stuff out in advance snacks and drinks for his diaper bag in the car, um, cups, dishes, bibs, snacks, and food that I'm going to pack with us. I decided to a little overpack a little on the snacks and I, I packed a couple of backup meals, just some microwavable soups for him just in case he refused to eat anything that we were having and then also his toiletries bag. Okay, so we were going to visit my husband's dad and stepmom. They recently moved up to South Carolina, which they used to live in Florida. So they're a lot closer to us now, uh, about three and a half hours away. So my uh, Daniel's stepmom is so great. Whenever she comes to visit us, she will bring like meals. Like I never have to cook when she's here because she brings everything. And I'm not that cool. I don't want to you know make meals and pack them but i decided to make a double batch of pumpkin bread one loaf for us to keep at home and one to take to them to enjoy and also as a thank you for hosting us and um, putting up with us and grant for the weekend
here is the finished product. These two loaves of pumpkin bread look so delicious and they baked up perfectly. Okay, so this is Thursday evening late after I had finished my workout and I had already picked out the outfits that I wanted to pack for our trip. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold up my clothes and put them in a packing cube and then lay out a couple of extra items also that I'm going to pack um, the next day. Okay, now we're on to Friday. We were going to leave this afternoon, so this is in the morning, so I'm going to do a final tidy of the house and also do all of the last bits of packing I need to do before we leave. So I'm starting here in our master bedroom and I'm going to make the bed. If we were going on a longer trip, I may have washed the sheets or put on fresh sheets um, so it would be clean when we got back, but since we were only gone for two nights, um, I'm just going to make the bed and make sure our room is tidy. Here I'm also packing the final items that I had used that morning, like my PJs, uh, deodorant, makeup, stuff like that. So now we're moving on to the kitchen. I'm going to tidy up. The dishwasher was full of clean dishes, so I'm going to put those away and then we'll return after lunchtime for more cleaning. just wanted to thank you guys for being here and for watching my videos. I recently surpassed 100 subscribers last week and still growing and it is so surreal to me. Um, I've been doing YouTube on and off for a few years but recently have become more consistent with it and I have seen a lot of growth and I'm just so so thankful for you guys for returning and watching my videos and I hope that you enjoy them.
this is after Grant and I have had lunch and he is down for his nap. So I'm cleaning up our lunch dishes and putting all the dirty dishes in the dishwasher so that everything is clean. And now it's time to pack all the final things. I'm gathering the snacks and drinks into Grant's diaper bag for the drive. I'm also going to put a pair of shoes in there for him. We don't typically make him wear shoes for a long car ride just because he's not going to be out. But if we do stop to stretch our legs, I'll put his shoes on so he can walk around. And after I packed everything on the counters, I'm going to wipe down the stove and the countertops and then also start cleaning in the dining area and then we'll move on to the living room. a stay-at-home mom please tell me your living room or playroom looks like this every day <laughs> uh, this is just through half the day so nap time I don't typically pick up every toy during nap time because Grant's just going to get them all out again when he wakes up in the afternoon but since we were leaving I am going to pick up all the toys and tidy up the room as well as pack a few toys that we decided to take with us Another task I wanted to do before we left was actually water all of our flowers on the front porch but while I was at it I decided to sweep off the front porch and also get down some spider webs. Um, if you saw my front porch fall makeover you know that it's spider season and the webs are literally everywhere so I do have to get the webs off of our porch railing about once a week. So I'm going to do that and then water my pansies and my mums. Here are the final shots of a clean and happy home. We are ready to go on our trip and return to a clean and stress-free house. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video motivated you to get some cleaning done or maybe pack for your upcoming trip. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys next Thursday with a brand new video. Bye!